Hey, how's it going, everybody? I uh, wanted to do a little series on the Voyager admin package for Laravel. I've uh, been kind of messing with it for a couple weeks, and I think some of the new features that just came out are pretty handy, and I thought I'd show everybody kind of how they can just start using it. So this is kind of the uh, main website for them, and let's just go ahead and dive into the docs. So in my experience, I've found that this latest version isn't actually the latest version out there. The docs might be version two behind, uh, but basically all we really need to do is uh, install a Laravel application. So I figure we can go ahead and start there. As we know the typical command is, you know, propose or create project Laravel Laravel, and then whatever name you want it to be, uh, we'll just call it explore. Should be okay. So as you see, we're installing Laravel 5.4.9. Uh, although I think the default for Voyager is uh, 5.3 at the moment, but that's okay. We're just gonna go on. Okay, so we're gonna go into our project. Okay, so now we're in our project. Now we wanna install the actual Voyager package. So we will go ahead and do that. It's gonna be kind of boring. And as you see, it's installing 11.3 as opposed to the 10 version 10 whatever. So there is a little bit of a difference between the documentation and um, our version of Voyager, which is okay. So anyway, uh, I already have this set up on Laravel Valet. So everything's going well. Okay, so we have it installed from the basic installation it looks as if it's pretty much identical the only thing is that now i think we need to go and do a little bit of um setup for our basic laravel installation so if we come back to our env file uh, we can call this our explore whatever username for valet is root and there's no password and i also are there we go add Explore, and then we're going to connect our user. The same kind of stuff we have to do like every time, but no big deal. We'll get there. All right, so now we have that, and we should be able to move on to the next step. So we need to add this to our providers array. Oops. And scroll down to providers. There's that. And then I think this time I'm gonna go ahead and install with dummy data just so that we can get up and running faster. Um, so let's do that now. Ooh, now we have our first issue. Now this issue I think is because uh, Laravel 5.4 uh, has a different default than the 5.3 and I'm pretty sure the fix for this is we need to come into our app service provider, use the schema, or the, actually the full thing. We do need to use the schema, but we need to do the full path. There we go. And then we need to tell it to set the default string length to 191 characters. All right, so now if we try this again, now we're getting that our base views already, and that's because some of these migrations have already run because we didn't have our little kind of make it work with Laravel 5 thing in the service provider. So we're gonna delete those, start again, and then boom, everything is installed. So looks like we're all good to go. It looks like we can use this email and password combination to log into our app which is here and we want to go to the admin panel beautiful things are working and we can log in hopefully awesome there we go that's the basics of getting the installer set up or the, the package installed and we'll go from here in our next videos